Have you ever messed up so badly you wish you could go back in time to change it? Well, stick through this video because today we are going to get to the bottom of time travel and see if it's BS or actually possible. So, is time travel possible? Well, as of right now, not in the way that you think, and yes, in the way that you don't. Everyone right now is moving forward through time constantly, minute by minute, second by second. Time is an aspect of the universe that is inseparable from space. Meaning if you change where you are in time, you change where you are in space. I'll give you an example. Say you had a time machine and you want to go back to see some big birds like, I don't know, the T-Rex. Well, the T-Rex roamed the earth about 70 million years ago. So this already sounds simple. Just set the date to 70 million years ago and start time traveling. And once you reach 70 million years ago, you are now in the vacuum of space nowhere near earth. The T-Rex, however, are alive during this time. They are just on the other side of the galaxy where Earth was 70 million years ago. We got the right time, just not the right space and time. You would need more of a space time machine, not a time machine. So, how do we create something like that? I don't know, but we could talk about the challenges that we would face first. The first problem is energy. To warp space-time in a way where you could travel from one point to another requires an insane amount of energy. This machine would have to alter the geometry of space-time itself. The universe already has plenty of massive objects that could do something like this. Like stars, black holes, and even planets. These objects, however, cannot help with time traveling in the way that we want. You can see the consequences of this sort of time travel in the movie Interstellar. When the crew visited Miller's planet that orbits close to a black hole, the planet experienced extreme time dilation, where every hour spent on the planet equates to seven years back on Earth. That's seven hours for every minute. To put those effects into perspective, so let's say we were on Miller's planet and launched a Falcon 9 rocket, which typically takes about eight minutes to launch and land again. During those eight minutes, three days would have passed on Earth. This sort of time travel could be perfect for skipping through boring lectures. The second problem is relativity. Time has a direction, and we experience it moving forward because of the second law of thermodynamics. This law states that in any closed system, entropy or disorder tends to increase over time. The universe progresses from a more ordered state like the early universe to a more disordered one like my life right now. This irreversible increase in entropy gives time a direction from past to future. The concept of time moving forward is tied to the processes we observe every day in life. Like things breaking down but not spontaneously reassembling. Or ice melting but never unmelting. The forward motion of time and the nature of entropy might act as a barrier. To travel back in time you would need to first reverse entropy and violate the laws of thermodynamics. Breaking a law in our legal system will end you up in jail. Breaking a law in our universe could end the universe. So this would be one of the official barriers from our laws that would prevent time travel in the way that we understand them so far. Thirdly, it could potentially cause the universe's destruction. Space time traveling could end up causing theoretical concepts such as closed time-like curves. A closed time-like curve in physics describes a path in space time where an object can return to its own past. Essentially, it's a loop in space time where the past, present, and future are connected in such a way that an event could directly influence its own cause. For example, if a physicist in 2050 builds a time machine using blueprints they discover, and they travel back to 2020 and give the blueprints to their younger self, and if the younger physicist now builds the time machine and repeats the cycle by traveling back to 2050 to return the blueprint, then where did the blueprint come from? If they exist only by being passed through time, their origin will be kinda unknown. Or will this break physics? It could violate the conservation of energy or information since the blueprints pretty much appear without actually being created. And is free will affected? Because the physicists might be stuck in a loop, with their actions predetermined by the timeline, making them question whether they have free will. So we can say that our universe and the universe we travel to would be affected completely by time travel. And I don't know about you, but I don't need two universes collapsing on my conscience. And finally, it could cause mental destruction to us. A consequence of space-time travel that is not often talked about is the actual effects of seeing time travel actually happening. Encounters with past or future versions of ourselves could complicate our sense of identity, as we might think about the different choices and outcomes, questions about the nature of existence, 
morality, and the universe would arise, challenging philosophical beliefs about life and our place in it. The ability to change the past or see the future could lead to anxiety, regret, or a sense of loss as people confront the consequences of their actions. So even if we do invent time travel, should we think about the moral implications of exposing that possibility, especially of a previous civilization of us that lived in bliss? Space time travel is not only a theoretical problem, not just an engineering problem, and not even summed up into an energy problem. It is a moral one. Changing events in the past or future could lead to unattended consequences, like the destruction of the whole universe, and maybe more importantly, the destruction of the story we believe in ourselves. So no, space time is not possible in the way that we want it to be. But if you're a space time traveler, comment down below. I'd like to thank those who are constantly commenting and supporting the channel. Seriously, you all motivate me to push the channel harder and make better content. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.